Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 2 of my new series, uh, analyzing my Dragon Ball Fighters content. Uh, today we're starting off in a, in a new area because Zamasu, Stewie Yeti, Zamasu took my spot. But uh, we got three matches for today's episode. Um, they are a doozy, as I was reviewing the ones, the episodes to, that I was going to go over for today. <laughs> They're from, like, two days ago. Uh, yeah, the, the, you'll see, you'll see as I go through them. I'm, I'm sure I'll be reignited with the same rage I just was. So, anyways, uh, see you guys in the match. Alright, so, the, our matches today are against uh, Muriam. Um, I've played against this guy a couple times. He's the uh, same rank, but he's playing... Ultra Instinct Goku, DBZ Broly, and DBS Broly. Uh, if you're new to the game, UI Goku, especially online, is 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 really, really stupid. Just so good, and so is DBZ Broly. Uh, they are. Um, I got a pretty good conversion there. Sorry. Um, right there, I tried to read Goku Ultra Instinct Tech, but. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's, it's Ultra Instinct. I, I, my fault for messing up the timing. Um, but yeah, arguably the two best characters, oof, good Super Dash read by me. Arguably the two best characters in the game right now. Ultra Instinct Goku just has so many tools at his disposal. Uh, I, I imagine he was trying to mash there as all Ultra Instinct Goku players do. Um, so that's why I hit him with the, with the low. Um, and DBZ Broly is just, has such huge reach, such big arms. I believe is the only character other than the other Broly, um, with armor on his moves. He's just, both these characters, definitely, at least the top five in this season. Um, so he's in sparking right now, the reason why I did two supers right there was just to lower sparking time. Again, I, I, I guess he wasn't blocking because... He just wants to mash out. <clears throat> um, as you saw there, he's so tall that his light hit my follow-up. But... Now, uh, usually I'm able to hit I'm plus on those frames, but I think I uh, selected a slow move on that teleport. But he messes up his combo. Nothing to worry about. Um, as you see, this dude... Very hyper aggressive at some points, but then once he, he once I block one move, he he just stops and and goes into a turtle shell, and and just backs away as you see him doing, and it gets worse in the later in the later games that we'll be seeing later. Again, read a super dash, um, pretty easy reads, but now I have to deal with this menace, this demon. I hate him with all my guts. Ultra Instinct Goku and DBZ Broly is they're the, the most annoying, especially online. He's lots of bar there, he drops his combo though. Don't know if he was going for anything, but I went for Dragon Rush because I didn't realize he was gonna get knocked out for a way, but he did. Have the hiccups right now. He doesn't really do much to mix me up. But uh, read another super dash and that's the game for number one so I pretty much destroy him but in the next couple matches he starts playing like a bitch or she sorry Miriam that's a little mean but it's true see you in the next game so here we are with game two of the set against Miriam uh, so the first game I, I I rolled him pretty well, and so because of that, he starts playing like the biggest pussy you will ever see. Immediately backs away. He always opens up with just jumping backwards or forwards, or just straight. He just jumps in the air, always jumps in the air, and uses an assist. I mean, decent startup. That command grab right there, unreactable online for the most part. Like, unless you're esports insane player. And the cool thing about that flip. Is that he can do that? So he can either choose to kick you there or a command grab you, and the command grab is really fast. But I read another super dash because uh, it's not like he mixes up a lot. Teleports out. 
As you see in this set, I believe, and in the next one, he starts vanishing out a lot. I didn't read them a lot because I'm just not used to people mashing vanish whenever they can. <laughs> um, but he, he was. So you see there, he's just sitting in the corner, just jumping up and down. Scared for his life, understandably. But there we go. So I get the plus frames. He tries to mash, I guess. But I miss my extension. I do hit the assist, but I think I tried for a move there. And I didn't get put out in time. He ran up and countered. Not really sure why. Uh, again, there's the unreactable command grab. Sorry, I got a message. Looking at. But yeah, Ultra Instinct Goku, especially online. Like, if, if you're not, if you don't have, it's just pay to win. It's just pay to win. Buy him. If you do not already have him, I don't already have him. I don't think so. I, I'm going to get this game on PlayStation 4 because I'm planning on playing this a lot, and that's what it's mainly played on. And I'm definitely buying Ultra Instinct Goku right away. He has yet to be nerfed, and he's just insane right now. So if you want to climb the rankings really quickly online, pick this character up. Alright, so I hit my extension. He, Goku, Ultra Instinct, that's a tech of his that he can wake up with that, but I read it. Get this punish. Not death. I thought that it was going to do more damage, but we force a spark in, which is good. Uh, there you see his hyper armor in action with his heavy that brings him across the stage. Very fair and fun character. Um, definitely no changes needed there. Again, just sits there with assists. I don't know why I didn't like, I could just easily key charge. That heavy you see like brings him across the stage and he already has a giant arm. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. I see Ultra Instinct Goku doing the work. And he has a C assist, I forgot to mention that. A beam C assist. I'm not sure why he did that level 1 right there, because it brought me out of the corner and reset neutral, but I mean. So you see him just jumping back, just jumping back as fast as he can. If he doesn't get a hit, jumps back. There he goes again. Didn't get a hit, jumped back, but he ran in that time. Uh, this should be a character. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was furious at this. I think I lose this match. But jump back, use an assist. But look at my video assist hits there. I didn't hit him. Look at mashing there. Interesting. Jumps back, just jumps back, but I read the super dash. Not a good idea to super dash across the stage, even if it's not a read. I don't even think I read. I probably could just react to it, but there's another command grab. That one's a little bit easier to react to online, but I think I was just looking for a flex. And not that, but cool extension that he could get because of C assist. Like, Miriam, sorry to me. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. If you're going to rock Ultra Instinct Goku and both Brolies, and one of them with a C assist, and you're going to be play like this much of a bitch, like, please please learn how to play like it's 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 pretty silly it's pretty ridiculous but I mean I guess it works right <laughs> yeah, those are my plus frames again he tries to for those that don't know plus frames just means that I mess up an input there sadly but he switches that was another thing that he started doing a lot just switching whenever he could which was like interesting because I couldn't kill any of his characters but by the end a lot of his characters were just really well um, he's probably gonna get a C assist. No, nope, it was not in time. Oh no! But he does get a command grab, which, or like a dragon rush, not a command grab, which I was not expecting. And, and there you go, with his C assist. Very, lots of skill needed, but he brought his combo on too long. I think I switch. Another vanish. Super dash across the screen, if only I was on the ground. And then time to jump back. I guess I'm jumping back too, but like I'm at the disadvantage here. Well, I I have spark, but I'm low. Yeah, yeah, this is Vegeta's dead here. Yeah. Um. I think he switches, and then yeah, and then I think I kill this character. I don't know how that didn't connect, but it's not a yeah, so this was the first game I've ever played that has gone down to time. 
just because he was playing like such a bitch. It was insane. Um, so yeah, I wake up level 3 because I'm just being furious at this point and was like, I'm taking a character. Let's see what he does. Does he just jump back right away? Yep, but I jump back right away too. Super dash, jump back, super dash, and vanish. I tried to, I was hoping that he would play like a normal person and try to like reflect or, or um, you know, block, but no, he just, he, he is scared and just trying to get out as fast as he can. So, that's game two. Um, but in the next game, final game of the set, we, we get the dub. And here we are with the third and final match of the set. At this point in the set, I am seething. <laughs> I am so angry. Um, I don't know if I, I can't remember if I roll him here, but I definitely get more hyper uh, offensive, I believe. I mean, I'm playing like a bitch here, but... I'm like the only one that has made any moves so far. I finally do a good read on the intro. Goku. It's so hard for me to say his name. Goku Ultra Instinct Tech. Like, why do they have to make his name like that? There's so many vowels. Goku Ultra Instinct. Goku Ultra Instinct. Goku. Goku. Say that three times fast. Uh, I didn't read the Super Dash, but I did get the. He, he turned to mash overhead after him. That's why I blocked his super dash, which you shouldn't really do, like it, unless you have spark. In. Um, so he guard switches, but I think I just got lucky. I definitely didn't try to read that, but I blocked it at the punish. And he early sparks here, and I think that's why I roll him. I again, I don't know if I do roll him. And there you see that fucking insane ultra instinct um, assist as well. Such a dumb assist, but I tried for a different mix up there, and it actually worked. Got him to block screen, but again, just mashes vanish. Or he does. And then just switches out again. Like, for no reason, really. He was doing weird stuff. Jumping back. I get the full screen super dash punish because he's just doing. I think I expected him to do another. Um, uh, another Ultra Instinct tech thing. But. Um, no, he, I was gonna be like, do I die here? But he has, like, no bar just because he's vanished I, the entire, every time he can. But I, now I die. Maybe he drops it. He might drop it. Yeah, he does. Well, I, I don't know how. I don't know how you can drop it off of a C assist. Like, you have to try to do that. Very long and good extension. I'll give that to myself. Like, I think this should be death, too. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to bring Tian out for unnecessary damage, so I just used level 3 with Vegeta. Um, so that's gonna heal up Goku Blue a lot. And, um, I'm still caught up on that Tongue Twister. I guess he tried to mash again. <laughs> Everybody just tries to mash. Uh, it's, it's pretty silly, but he finally sits still for me to get a Dragon Rush, and again, death. I leave... I leave Vegeta in just to try to get that blue health on blue coup. It's that final bit of blue health, just in case I need him. Oh, I think in this match he does a lot of good stuff with... Well, I don't know if it was good stuff. Maybe not. I think it brings it kind of back with DBZ Broly, just because the final stand aspect of the game is, like, ridiculous. Does he vanish? No, he, yes. Now he vanishes. <laughs> I knew it was coming soon. Again, I try to reflect, but he just command grabs. I don't know why I didn't expect him to do that a lot more, because I think he did that every block string, but I don't know. I was expecting him to change, because it's just going to be, like, somewhat intelligent. I get the... This is a death. Very close to it, though. I thought that he was going to jump in the air. Just try to get out as fast as he can. Uh, that's a character. I don't think I finished up with Blue Koo, but at this point there's like no way I'm losing. Unless, well, I say that, I think some dumb shit happens actually. I remember now. So yeah, this is going to be death because the damage is ridiculous. And then it gets pretty close here, but I think I, at this point I'm baby raging very hard. Again, he's just sitting at the edge of the, of the map. Um, 
I always forget that when you have sparking, level 3 sparking and vanish, well, it might not be level 3, I think it's enemy sparking, you have to input a move. Again, that was like a kind of reset that I didn't think he was going to go for because I just thought he was going to... I stopped blocking because I thought that he was going to keep on attacking. But he messes that up and I take it. Very close game, a lot closer than it should be. But that character is stupid. Um, so yeah. I take the set. I, I, I guarantee you this is that I was baby raging as hard as you can imagine. That was it for this episode. Um, stuff to remember. What stuff... What stuff to go over? What tips from this video? If they're playing like a bitch, most likely they're gonna do some stupid shit. A lot of the times, I, you know, punished his, like, full-screen super dashes. So, if they're gonna... If they're playing like, like the the diary of a wimpy kid then just wait for them to do something stupid because almost they're gonna do it um tip for me notice the patterns like i said in the match he his broly was like only going for grabs and i just kept on trying to reflect because i thought that he was just going to continue a block string i should have known after like the third time he did it that he was only going to grab but of course i don't i don't punish it um Oh, also, I don't know if you guys could hear me clicking my pen. I was, like, fidgeting throughout this video. Maybe you couldn't hear it, but if you could, that's what it was. And final tip. If you want to win, get Ultra Instinct Goku. Again, try to say that three times fast. It's, I uh, Goku, in Goku Ultra Instinct. Goku Ultra Instinct. Goku Ultra. Goku Ultra. It's, oh, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, if you want to win, just buy that character. Buy that character, learn his stuff. It's ridiculous, especially online. On locals, still pretty ridiculous, but definitely not as much as online. Um, he just has so many good tools, and some are just unreactable online. So, you want to win, you want to climb the ladder easily, which I want to. The only reason why I'm not, I'm thinking of buying him on PC. I'm on PC right now, but I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna get PS, get it on PS4 soon. I'm definitely gonna buy him instantly. Like, he's just so good right now. If you want to win and you don't have de self-decency like I don't, just get him. And to a further extent, get DBZ Brawly. Another very insane character. Um, and just use C-Assists. If you want to win and not think... Just use use the good people. That's it for this video. Like and subscribe. Uh, we got another one coming out uh, soon. I don't know if it'll be like next week. I don't know when this will be uploaded. But it'll be soon. Within the next four to five business days. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And I uh, hope you enjoyed. Bye.